Well, imagine waking up to that flames and smoke outside of your home. That's what happened in Little Rock after a vacant home on South Spring Street in the Quapaw Quarter caught on fire earlier this morning. This is cell phone video. Thanks so much for joining us for your news at 10. I'm Hillary Hunt. Our Claire Kreitz spoke with people who live in that neighborhood. She joins us live from that home. And this fire forced a lot of people out, Claire. Yeah, that's exactly right, Hillary. About seven people have to find a new place to stay tonight. But the fire actually started at this vacant home behind me. As you can see, it's destroyed. The inside is basically just ash and soot, and the roof is gone. Now, we talked to a man who lives in the apartments next door where those flames spread. He saw the fire outside his window, and he woke everybody in his building up and got them outside. Cell phone video capturing this tense moment as flames shoot out of a vacant home in downtown Little Rock. I, mean, I smelled something funny. Um, I heard some strange crackling noises. Daniel Brown lives in the building next door and didn't think too much of the noise until he saw an orange hue outside his window. And I just ran throughout my apartment upstairs screaming fire. Brown, his girlfriend, and his son escaped their apartment before the fire and smoke reached their building. Well, my son called me at 6 a.m., which would never happen normally on a Saturday morning. Hillary Moore Brown woke up to her son on the phone as he watched the flames spread to his home. It scared me to death. It took about two hours to put the fire out. Once the smoke cleared, his room is just completely black inside. It's just completely charred. Brown was able to see the damage done. I was hoping there might be something to salvage there, but it doesn't look like there there is. From toys to books and even his schoolwork, it's all gone. He said, I don't have any shoes and no shirt. <laughs> he grabbed his phone and a jacket. Despite the lost belongings, Brown says those can be replaced. Her son cannot. Ooh, all, all I just kept thinking was I'm so, so thankful. Now I've seen people coming in and out of those apartments next door, trying to grab any belongings they can. We also know the Red Cross is helping those people find a place to stay. This vacant home where the fire started was actually under renovation, but still no word on what caused the fire.